YouTube simply oh lucky you and to go along with one of the most epic videos we ever made just a bit ago it was a Yu-Gi-Oh first pack ever made video you guys you should definitely check it out if you have not it was from 1999 the first Yu-Gi-Oh pack ever made pretty insane uh, today we're gonna go ahead and open up the first Yu-Gi-Oh TCG booster pack ever made the first English booster pack and that is a 2002 a legend of blue eyes, white dragon. And this is a first edition booster pack, you guys, so I'm super excited for that. And then I want to ask you guys to check out the channel and subscribe for some more absolutely phenomenal Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And wow, I cannot wait to pop this open, so just to get a better look at it, it is a first edition legend of blue eyes booster pack, you guys. Absolutely crazy. Um, obviously the most valuable set when it comes to the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. Definitely some of these classic cards inside. If you guys do not know what's in Legend of Blue Eyes, you definitely need to uh, remember there is Dark Magician, uh, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, the entire set of, set of Exodia. All these cards are ultra rare, first edition. Absolutely insane. You got Red Eyes in here, uh, Guy of the Fierce Knights, Secret Rares, Trihorn Dragon, and Guy the Dragon Champion. But... You guys, you got to remember, these cards, mint condition straight out of the pack and graded, are absolutely insane when it comes to price. And you guys got to remember as well, there are two printings of first edition uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon Booster Packs, LOB Packs. The first printing, just to give you guys a quick idea, I actually don't have first edition booster boxes on me at the moment, sadly. Um, but uh, the first edition booster box, there will be the first edition on the side of the box will be off to the side kind of in its own island for the first print run of Legend of Blue Eyes. And then the next print run of the first edition Legend of Blue Eyes box, the first edition will be a bigger printing and it'll start like at the end of the dragon parts of the uh, fonts on the box. So you can actually, it's actually pretty obvious. So uh, the first edition is much bigger on the uh, second printing of the box compared to the first printing of Legend of Blue Eyes 2002 first edition booster box opening. So if you're looking on eBay right now or something like that, usually you'll see the first print run sell more for, I think like right now the cards are insane, but I think for like 4,000 or more dollars will be the, the first edition first print run. And then uh, maybe around two to 3,000 you'll see the second uh, first edition print run. And uh, it's just a matter of value there. And if you actually look at the foils, there's more of a glossy or wavy foil for the first print run compared to the second print run, which will be more of a, uh, I guess, structured foil that you'll see more with like Metal Raiders and Magic Ruler. All right, you guys. So uh, today we're doing a first edition Legend of Blue Eyes, uh, Legend of Blue Eyes, Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon booster pack. And uh, we're actually going to be opening up three first edition booster packs. The odds of us pulling a foil out of loose packs is probably like a one out of 20 to be honest I mean it's so easy to weigh these packs or to scale these packs to pull out the foils you can even put them in like your freezer or refrigerator and it'll probably bend if there's a foil in it or something so uh, usually you never want to buy loose packs unless you're buying a collection um, but yeah so today we thought we could do a cool video just by going over the cards inside so there's a little quick review of the set you guys so now you know something about Legend of Blue Eyes PSA graded tens of the cards inside, depending on first or second print run. Some people care, some people don't. Usually you're looking at at least $1,000 for like a first edition, mint condition, PSA 10, blue eyes, dark magician, or set of Exodia. Set of Exodia actually gets pretty insane. There's not many first edition PSA 10 sets of Exodia. Those could be like five to 10 grand just for the set. All right, you guys, so first pack here, back to 2002. You guys ready for this? I mean, we're starting right away, so give it to us, Gaiba! Here we go. And we will have to take a whiff. Let's do it. 2002 booster packs. And actually, I'm not sure uh, what the first edition looks like compared to the first printing or second printing of the first edition LOB set. I think it might be darker for the first. Okay, you guys. Let's do this. Man, if we actually pull a foil, that'd be pretty insane. Uh, Fiend Reflection number two, 
a bird beast that summons reinforcements with a hand mirror. A spiked Cedra. Spikes sprouting from its body. Mammoth Graveyard. Protects the grave of the pack. Firegrass. You can find him near volcanoes. And then a Hain Hain for a rare. Select a monster on the field, regardless of position, and return it to the owner's hand. Wasn't a bad card, but you always had Maneater Bug at the time. And Maneater Bug, of course, is uh, was pretty insane in that original format or that Yugi Kaiba format. A Root Water. Drooling Lizard. Blood sucking snake in human form. Sparks. Inflict 200 damage to your opponent's life points because 200 damage out of 8,000 will definitely do something. And M Warrior number two, specializing in combination attacks. So pretty cool there. Uh, once again, these cards have pretty high value. This looks like its second print run, just from my guess, just by how some of the cards look and whatnot inside. Um, but yeah, to give you guys an idea as well, the first edition packs PSA 10 are also uh, also hold value as well. So like, if you just had the pack here and it was still sealed, obviously. And then you got it graded. It could be worth, you know, I think PSA 10 first edition booster packs were upwards of like two to three hundred dollars. So just to give you guys an idea, you can grade your packs. That's why you'll see a lot of people on YouTube uh, open up their 2002 first edition LOV box and not actually open up all the packs. They'll go ahead and weigh out the foils and open up the foils and hold the packs to possibly grade later to uh, have you know a box worth with three hundred dollar packs inside. So pretty insane. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and continue. Two more first edition booster packs here. I actually didn't even really think. Wow. That I would get a foil. I should have grabbed some sleeves. I just didn't think it was a possibility. Um, Mountain. Mystical Moon. Nice. To uh, a field spell and equipment. Magic card, you gotta remember these are the magic cards before Spell Ruler came out. Dark King of the Abyss, the King of the Netherworld. Fiend's Reflection. Whew. I'm like praying for a foil. Um, Goblin's Secret Remedy, man. Increase the select player's life points by 600 points. Nice. A, a Beaver Warrior. It's over 9,000. This creature lacks in size, makes it for defense and battling in the prairie. We got a petite dragon. Very small dragon known for vicious attacks. And so, uh, the, probably the value of an LOB pack right now, first edition, just loose, probably be around 50 to 80. So, because you know, it's not, you're not, the odds of there being actual foils in there is so low because you can so easily search those packs. And the blood sucking lizard. All right, you guys. One more Legend of Blue Eyes pack. I just wanted to uh, get you guys at least feeling that nostalgic 2002 epicness from these. We'll do another whiff because this is as old as it gets, you guys. March 2002 was first printing. I think the second one was <sighs> a few a couple months later. Can we get a freaking foil? We got a two mouth dark ruler, the original dark ruler. <laughs> a dinosaur with two de deadly jaws. Hinotama, a armored starfish, the bluest starfish. Metabats, and flame flower wolf. Nice. Silver fang. Sparks, M warrior number two, trial of hell, and dissolver rock. Trial of Hell, you know, they change that later as well. The Fiend passes judgment on enemies that are locked in coffins. Trial of Nightmare, I believe, right? Is what they change it to. But yeah, you'll have your uncensored cards here and there as well. So, that is first edition, a Legend of Blue Eyes booster pack, you guys. And that's not all. And we will be doing a giveaway today as well. Um... And so I'll mention that here in a second. Once again, in order to participate in the giveaway. And uh, some of you guys were thinking, like, I don't actually part you know, do these giveaways. And so I'll go ahead and 
I published a video over on Simply Yu-Gi-Oh on me shipping out and announcing the winner for the first pack Yu-Gi-Oh ever made because I gave away uh, one of those first packs after we opened up um, one on the channel, so that was pretty cool. And so uh, you'll see a video on Simply Yu-Gi-Oh if you guys want proof for that or whatever. But uh, but yeah, so I actually do enjoy doing these quick giveaways for you guys because it's pretty cool and it's a good way to get the video some more comments and likes, of course. But yeah, so if you guys want to participate in the giveaway today, we're doing a giveaway for a uh, Legend of Blue Eyes European Edition booster pack. And this is the old one. I think this is 2002 or 2003. It's like the third printing of the set for Unlimited, maybe 2003. Um, but yeah, still a very old classic pack. So if you guys want to get yourself one of these, all that you need to do once again is be subscribed to Simple and Lucky, like this video, and comment below. Um, commenting more than once, once again, does not help you uh, win the giveaway, um, but it does. Just commenting once is all you need to do, but you are welcome to comment more than once. All right, you guys, so that's the giveaway for today. I'll mention it again at the end of the video, but uh, what I wanted to do, so now that you guys saw the first edition pack, I wanted to show you the three different printings here of LOB. I think there's one more as well, but um, yeah, the, the next one would be the one that was printed in like 2008 or 2010 in the Legendary Collections. Um, but yeah, so here is the 2002 printing of the Unlimited Konami sim uh, symbol, Blue, Legend of Blue Eyes pack. And so this was printed immediately after the second first edition run, or a few months. So I'm trying to remember exactly. But yeah, still 2002 for that. And then the next uh, printing was the one where the Konami symbol was changed. This may have been in later 2002 or 2003. And then of course you have your uh, for Europe edition there printed as well. And so those are three different uh, packs for the unlimited version. Of course, the first edition will all have the Konami symbol. But, um, well, actually, yeah. So the Konami symbol was on Metal Raiders, Labyrinth and Nightmare. So you'll see the change in the Konami symbol. That's like 2004, 2005. See, someone else is going to know this immediately. Sorry, I didn't know exactly the date there. But, uh, but yeah, because like Labyrinth and Nightmare and uh, Legacy of Darkness, I think, was the first set. That didn't have the Konami symbol. I'm trying to like look over and see, but yeah, somewhere in there, um, they changed the Konami symbol, and so I think like Labyrinth of Nightmare or Legacy of Darkness that was like 2003, 2004. Um, so yeah, these packs will be a couple years after the original printing. So very cool though to see the differences there, and I thought we could open up one pack of each. That'd be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and open up a 2002 Unlimited Legend of Blue Eyes Boost pack. If we get a foil, that'd be incredible. Smell any different? Absolutely the same. <laughs> Love it. All right. And so value-wise, you of course you'll see the Konami symbol. Uh, Blue eyes packs worth a little more. All right, we got a Umi. Hino Thomas Soul. Arm Mail. The Thirteenth Grave. And nice, a foil trap hole, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Very cool, little foils off there, that's nice. The attack of a monster summoned by your opponent. Ooh, it's got a foil slash. A little misprint foil slash there. I love those classic misprint cards. That's interesting, you see how it goes through the card there. The attack of the monster summoned by your opponent, excluding special, is 1,000 or more. This monster is destroyed. Cool. That's very nice. So at least we got a foil from this opening. A trap hole. And we have a mystical sheep. A monster sheep with a large tail for hypnotizing enemies. This is just a LOB video for you guys. Tripwire Beast, Skull Red Bird, and Misaruzame. Cool. A missile launching fish. And of course Big Red Bird. A pretty popular monster when it comes to like the video games. I feel like they always put that in there. Wow. Getting a nice foil card there you guys. And actually... Let's grab a, grab a sleeve for this video. Thanks to our friends at Ultra Pro. Let's, yeah, let's grab a few light blue sleeves for our foils today. A interesting foil on that trap hole. Not only is it off on the corner there, it's got a foil slash through the card. Cool. I mean, when you get a first edition card, of course you want to get it graded. That kind of... Those kind of uh, issues will cause problems for getting a PSA 10 or whatever. But 
Uh, seeing it for a unlimited card, you know, you're not usually interested in grading these. It's pretty cool. All right, you guys. So that was a, just to give you guys a look at the packs once again. So first edition, unlimited, and then the next printing. Honestly, that I'm not even sure which one came first here. Still pretty interesting. A little bit different. It's not as it's not as uh, for the whiff. It's not as potent. I think would be the right word there. Okay, and see once again, you can tell the cards have changed a little bit. It's more darker, a little more structured. Once again, uh, M Warrior number two, Trial of Nightmare. So now you guys actually get to see the card with its different name. So that's pretty cool. A fiend that passes judgment. What was the last one? Is it still a fiend that passes judgment? Very cool, though, to see the different cards. Yeah, on enemies. Uh, Dissolver Rock, Wasteland, and another foil. Some freaking epicness going on here with these packs, though. So, out of our next unlimited pack, we pulled a dark hole after a trap hole. Yo, that's pretty cool. That's very cool, actually. So, two foils. No Ultra Rare. That's fine, though. Turtle Tiger. Hard Armor. A living suit of armor that attacks enemies with a bone-jarring tackle. <laughs> Hard Armor with a bone-jarring tackle. They totally did it on purpose. Kumu Toku. It's a massive, intelligent spider. And forced. Sojins. Wasteland. And then there is a bit of a difference between those cards, but honestly, it's like... I mean, you can tell a little bit, but yes, very nice there. So we'll go ahead and sleeve up that dark hole. It's borders a little off there, but still very cool to pull a foil mint condition. Dark hole straight out of an unlimited booster pack. So we got a trap hole and a dark hole foil. That's pretty cool. And then finally here for our from Europe, let's see how the cards look from this booster pack as well. Go ahead and set that there. Already different. Yeah, so much darker. Jeez. All right, basic insect. Usually found traveling in swarms. 13th grave, dark, king of the abyss, Hinotama soul, and the spirit of the harp. Yeah, look how dark it is. European cards have always been more darker, though. Spirit of the harp, serious. Spirit that soothes the soul with music of a heavenly harp. Vile germs, enchanting mermaid. Beautiful mermaid that... Lures voyagers to a watery grave. Kumutoku and arm mail. Dude, freaking Kaiba over here is like telling me to open up one more pack. Man. Okay. But once again, you guys, to participate in the giveaway, all that you need to do is like and comment and be subscribed to Simple and Lucky. Very simple. Once again, commenting more than once does not help your odds and getting a booster pack. But, um, yeah, just call that you have to do is comment, like, and subscribe. Very nice, you guys. So, if you want to get yourself... A chance to get a Legend of Blue Eyes booster pack for Europe edition. Um, I did have one more Konami pack here, and dude, I'm feel I'm feeling the fire right now, you guys. Um, unlimited Konami pack, and I'm just like, yo, Kaiba, what are you thinking right now? This is Legend of Blue Eyes. Not only is Blue Eyes White Dragon in this set, it's got Blue Eyes in the name of the set. So Kaiba's like, yo, this is my set. Let's do this right here, right now. Give it to us, Kaiba. Last pack of Destiny. Man, here we go. And you know what? Let's do it. We're going to have to do one more whiff because this is it. Nostalgia overload. Let's do it. Oh, wow. 2002, by the way. So this is if you're 16. You have to be 16 or older for this pack. Maybe 15. You'll hit there, but yeah. So 16 years old for some of you guys. All right, you guys. El Tigre y Tortuga. Right? <laughs> Something like that. Turtle Tiger. Tiger encased in a protective shell. Razor Shot Franks. Kumu Toku again. Forest. Come on, baby. Let's get an ultra rare. <laughs> All right. Reaper of the cards. Still a very cool card there. Chanted Mermaid. Man Eater. Not Man Eating Bug, but Man Eater Plant. Remove Trap and Steel Ogre Groto. Man, such classicness 
such epicness vintage old school all the above you guys love it first edition legend of blue eyes and then the classic unlimited printings as well so uh yeah i thought i could do an epic video you guys just to get you guys back into the tcg since we went over the classic first pack ever made for uh Yu -Gi -Oh, which was you know the japanese um volume one is really all it is it's just the first pack and uh so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this legend of blue eyes video once again, if you guys want to participate in the giveaway, we're giving away a Legend of Blue Eyes booster pack here. All that you need to do is like and comment and uh, be subscribed. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content and subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And then before we end this video, I just want to remind you guys, as we go into June... Um, we will be doing Simple and Lucky full time. Um, I got, I'm trying to get everybody ready at least. And uh, it should be epic. It should be awesome. So we're talking videos every day, at least once a day on Simple and Lucky. Because um, I'm graduating from the university finally. So uh, yes, that'll be epic. That'll be awesome. But yeah, so videos every day on Simple and Lucky. Videos every day on Simple Yu-Gi-Oh for sure. And then of course, um, random pack opening collections. Box openings for classics. You know, all the way from GX or just original GX, 5Ds, and all the above, you guys. It's going to be so freaking amazing. I'm excited for it. And, of course, moving Simple and Lucky towards another step towards the card shop. It's all coming because we're hitting the end of April here pretty soon. So very excited for that. And, uh, yeah, of course, you guys are always welcome to post in the comments below, too. You know, uh, another classic or opening that you maybe haven't seen on YouTube or would like to see more of, and we could provide you with that for Simple and Lucky. So, uh yeah, always be always always be sure to post in the comments below what you guys are looking to see for some epic Yu-Gi-Oh reviews. And simply on Lucky signing out.